guys, this is Sandy White from Simply Fit, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. And on today's segment, we're going to be showing you how to detoxify your body with a simple cucumber. Yes, a simple cucumber. Now, a lot of you all, you guys are like, you know what? I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Because you haven't learned how to combine natural ingredients with each other. So soon as I showed you this cucumber, shut down time. Because you're like, that's bland, been there, done that, I don't wanna do it again, and I don't blame you. So that's why I heard you guys, fine, show me how to exercise, but show me how to eat. Don't just tell me certain foods, combine them together and let me see how you're doing it. And guys, I am more than welcome and willing to step up to the challenge to help you guys out. So with a cucumber, there are a uh, there's a, a couple things that I want you all to know. Not only can you detoxify your body with it because it helps you to stay hydrated, it provides you with nutrients, antioxidant, uh, antioxidants <laughs> that will protect your cells from free radicals. And those are the things that rid your body of diseases. So remember, um, the Bible tells us that no weapon formed against us should prosper. So if you do what you're supposed to, you, it, it may it may form. It says no weapon forms against you so prosper. So it may form, but it's not going to prosper if you do what you're supposed to do. So we want to make sure you guys are having all the simple tips and strategies so that you can live a simple life, a simply fit lifestyle. And scientists, and we're also working on this as well, um, scientists actually have proven to you guys that depression is linked to nutrition so if your body and your gut health they not sinking and they're not functioning together it does affect the way your brain functions so we want to make sure not only are the tips simple strategies and they're easy for you to digest and they taste good so you know, if you got something that's good and it don't taste good you're not going to eat it we want to make sure that we're doing our part because we want to save as many lives as possible and our goal is one million so if you touch a life by, by some information you you've heard here that's part of the collective one million lives that we will be working towards so reach out to us let us know how you guys are doing and one of the things we heard loud and clear great with the with the challenges don't just talk about it show us boom don't just talk about eating certain things. Show us how to combine it together so we can do it at home. Boom, no problem. You guys also know that we've cut our segments down so we just get straight to the meat and potatoes. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, again, I'm your host, Sandy White. This is Simply Fit. And our job is simply to provide you guys with strategies and nutritional information that you can put in your family's life that will not only help you out, but it'll help someone else that's struggling or may just want to uh, release some weight, maintain their weight, and just be an overall healthy family. A lot of you all know kids don't like vegetables, but if you combine certain nutrients together, they will enjoy it. Their palates change constantly, so you do have to pay attention to that. Not only do their palates change, yours change, which you like at their age. You don't have a taste for it right now, but you do want to be overall healthy. So with that being said, I did tell you guys, we're on this segment, we're going to be showing you how to detoxify your body with a cucumber. Now, I probably probably have been talking for about two or three minutes so we're going to get the clock running because we want to make sure we get everything into you all and i'm going to show you two simple uh recipes that you guys can use a cucumber with now i did tell you that a, a cucumber has uh, a lot of nutrients in it to help you stay hydrated and this drink is something that you can do on a quick easy basis and i'm going to show you something real quick you can get these bottles and fill them up now i got this one from amazon they come in a pack of six so 
you don't have to make just enough for one day. You can do a whole boatload and get you six bottles, two bottles a day. Well, I'll say one bottle a day because you do want to, if you're, this is a really good recipe, but if you're working on changing, having a healthier lifestyle, I would recommend that you do baby steps. Not try to do everything at one time because you won't complete it. And that's not the objective. So do baby steps. So I think on one of the segments I was sharing with you guys, if you have to have a soda, and that's one of the things you say, okay, I'm going to start and keep a journal of it. I'm not going to drink any sodas. Get the salsa water and add some fruit. Like when you do this, I'm going to show you this real quick. Pour a little bit of that in the salsa water. It has the bubbles in it. No calories, no sugar. Excellent. That's an easy way to start drinking soda. Now, to stop having your kids do fruit juices that's loaded with a bunch of sugar, do something like this because sugar will shut down your immune system for 24 hours. And we've all experienced the pandemic, but on a scale where you should know that keeping your gut health and your immune system, which they're one and the same, you need to keep that at a top secure level. Having a weak immune system and a bad gut is no different than turning on your alarm and then keeping all your doors and windows open. That, you know, you're like, uh, that makes no sense. All right. So the nutrients in it have antioxidants in it in a cucumber, which help protect your cells from diseases. Now, you're gonna, when you take one bad thing away, that's not, food is an energy. So in your journal, when you swap one thing out, put something else in, write down how did it, how did it taste on my taste bud? How did I feel 30 minutes after? How did I feel during eating it? How did I feel an hour after? Because when you eat nutrient rich foods, you should see an energy level come about your body. When you eat dense foods, you will see and feel a decline. And then what you end up doing, because a lot of times people don't recognize that, you will go back and eat that nutrient dense food because now you're having a sugar spike or you're having a decline and you're tired and whatever the case, find out how this food makes you feel. Did it? And then when before you go and eat the nutrient dense food, find out what your mood is. Because food does change your mood. And this is how um, scientists recognize that depression is linked to food. So we're on a mission to cut that out. Again, make it simple, give you simple tips and strategies, and you'll stick with it. Now, also, they, I told you guys that, uh, if I didn't say that, these cucumbers, simple cucumbers, provide you with hydration. A lot of times when you're dehydrated, that's when you're loopy, you're mean, you see people with all this road rage. Okay, we, that's an easy fix. Let's, let's supersede all of that with something real nice and simple. If you do a big batch, you fill these jars up and look, don't, don't go on, ooh, gross on me. Some people get the uh, mason jars. You have peaches, pears, whatever in it. Clean them out, keep them. You don't have to necessarily go buy what I just did. And then the other main thing that I like, the other benefit I like about a cucumber is if you're having challenges, your, your A1C level should always be under five. But if you're having challenges with your glucose levels, cucumber will help you out. All right. So now we're going to jump into our recipe. We got two things here. The first one. I am going to, if this is not too loud, I hope it's not too loud, I am going to show you guys how to make this simple recipe. It's a bunch of grapes. Now, I have um, cut up some, and you can add in, I got to get these out of the refrigerator. I uh, cut up some, well, my, I didn't, let me not lie. Y'all know, <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. My hubby, I like to give him a shout out. Got the pineapples up. Then he had to get all cute, make them all. And <laughs> there is a... Uh, little device that you can use to get these little cute little rings. You can get it out the jar. Fresh pineapples. Now it's fine if you got to get frozen and it's fine if you have to get canned. Just 
don't consume the juice get rid of the juice so i'd rather just get a fresh pineapple cut it up myself and there's um, a little ring cutter that you put in there zoop, 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 and it gives you the same thing as it, what you get out of the jar so the pan so it's going to be a bunch of grapes if you want a little bit of a sweetness that's why i said go slow i don't have a problem with the taste of a cucumber add some apples pineapples I like a little bit of mint and when you're using the juicer put the mint in between something that's solid because this won't go through as easy as you like you only need like one or two if depending on uh, your palate and how powerful of a mint flavor that you want so we're going to get started now this is a jack Mullane juicer but you can get any high power juicer that you want so make sure you have something that's going to catch it and then uh, i've heard you guys why are you not blending it well we want this to go to the cellular level so it's still going to have fiber in it not as much as you know when you take the the skin off of everything but you're going to have the proper amount of fiber that you need but it's going to go to the cellular level now if you want to put this in your blender you can just make sure it's blend nice and smooth and now it's going to take a little bit longer for it to get to the cellular level because it's got more fiber in it either way works perfect i i like getting this into my kids for um them to drink for breakfast so let's rock and roll we're going to do i'm going to do a cucumber one mint um this is three apples so do it to your taste and you can use red or green all right so let's rock and roll i got my cucumber and you don't have to worry about cutting this up and it's coming out nice and pretty and it looks good and oh my god i wish you guys could smell this it smells really good sunshine so if you're eating food that's crappy you can't bring your own sunshine you're going to be a grump monster so here is your cucumber juice and then if you want it a little thick all you have to do is add a little bit of ice to this you can add a little bit of ice to this you can add some protein powder to it it's fine make it uh, vanilla or you can do collagen non-flavorish i love this i, I gotta drink <laughs> right amount for me but when you taste it oh guys i forgot the grapes so let's go i'm all excited and then look with the grapes if you want you do not have to take them off the stem but it depends on how big of the mouth that your uh your juicer is so mine is kind of a medium and look I like the flavor of that and I hadn't even put all the grapes in there so again do this to your liking and if you like all of the ingredients which I use apples you can use red or, or green some pineapples and this was about two of them I use the green grapes and one cucumber and I use one mint leaf. All right, so I'm gonna drink some more now that I put the grapes in there. But this is a really good recipe. I like it and it's nice it, and it doesn't matter what the season is. Granted, here's a hint to save on money. Make sure you shop for food that's in season. I could, take the, I could taste the grape and it has a little bit more of a little a sweetness to it, but no no refined, refined sugars. And yes, you heard me right. Shop in season, you'll save money. All right, so the next one is going to be the uh, cute stuffed cucumbers. And now this is really easy because you're like, how do you do that? You can, I'm going to do a little bit more just to get the mouth of it open. You could take the melon balls and if you take this and get 
thick. It comes out, the melon scooper, it comes out nice and pretty. And then you can take that and you can stick it in your salad and try not to break it like I just did. Um, or you can simply just go in, scoop it out with a knife. So you can uh, rock and roll. I'm gonna cut this in half because we are running out of time. And I am just gonna cut in a little circle. And then don't throw this away. So basically what you're doing, I'm gonna show you guys in uh, 30 seconds or less. Don't cut it too, don't cut too much out because all you're doing is now you're gonna stuff it. See, I just made a hole. And that's the object that you're doing here. And you can take the melon balls that you already had, you can squeeze some avocado in there, half an av avocado, make sure you depit it. I have some carrots. If you don't like them that big, all you gotta do is cut them up. These are chives. I like the taste of chives, so I will be cutting all of this up. And it's just a little bit, cause you know, like I said, we're, we're short on time and we're rolling with this time. So I have the cucumber inside of it that I hollowed out, scooped out. We're gonna use this. Now I leave the skin on because it gives it some type of firmness. And this is a, uh, just a regular green onion. Now, if you're like, I don't like the skin, I don't like the way it looks, take it off. But just be careful because that skin is a protective barrier. And so when you take that off, it's going to make it a little firm. And you don't want to be squeezing all of your stuff out. And then, of course, make sure you wash your hands, which I did before we got started. And this is a red bell pepper. And... You could put in there salt and pepper if you like, but because I am going to add in, this is a sriracha. And actually this particular one is PF chain, but you can get any one you want. And then this is not regular mayo. This is Primal Kitchen. So this is kind of like vegan and it's the avocado one. So try again, if you start adding in things make sure you are writing it down so that you can identify how it's making your body feel you don't want to start eating all this stuff and then you don't know what you did to combine it now with the cream cheese you want to use the softened cream cheese and that's all this is and then i'll mash it all together and then we are going to shove it in the cucumber and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be it. And that's all you're doing. You're mashing all of this together and then shoving it inside this cucumber. And then you're going to cut it in these cute little rolls. Or you could cut it in a cute rolls. Or if you're like, um, since we're short on time, I should have had my immersion blender out. I'm going to take some of this out just because we are running down. But I'm going to show you guys. Let's take that one out. And it just looks like a little summer. That's it. You take all of that. You mix it up. And then you take it. You scoop it in here your hand down there so you don't have your little insides falling out and then it's a sauce that goes on here now with the avocado it's because you could do the entire you know because it depends on who you're serving you can do I'm going to use my scooper. There we go. Am I getting any? I sure am. All right. And I'm going to put some down here. 
and that's it. So it's the cucumbers hollowed out. If you want to use your immersion blender, you have one. Um, just make sure you don't do it too much. Now let's see how well I suck this. You can do this long ways if you're like, I don't want to go through all of this that she's going through. I'm not going to do that. And so, and make sure that you're cutting it well enough that you have some of, this one can be two of them, that you have the insides in there, as y'all can see. And then the sauce is simply a little bit of sriracha. This can be a little spicy on the taste bud. So just do, um, I just did two small squirts and that's, you know, a, maybe a table, a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon and a half. This is avocado oil. And I'm gonna do just one and a half tablespoons. And then once you mix it up, you're simply drizzling that on your mixture. And that's it. So it's a nice little appetizer to tie you over, or it can be an actual meal. Now, the only thing I did not put in there, and now this is going to be to your um, choice. You can cook your shrimp, or, and I've talked to you all about the imitation crab meat. They look like this. Try it before you put your nose up to it. They come in like, like a, like a pack. Drop that one. It comes in a pack and it literally looks like that. And then you cut it up and you can put that in here as well. I don't want to put too much in there. I'm actually just putting a sauce. Probably shouldn't put it over the hole. I think I'm going to put it on the side just so you all can see. Yeah, I'll put it on the side so you can actually see the hole with the food in it because I covered that one up. So we're going to put it right there on the side. And it shouldn't be This is a this is a really easy recipe and and all I do which is what I'm doing now. I'm taking it and smearing it on the bottom just a little bit. Now, I like to clean up my plate a little bit, but ladies and gentlemen, this is your second recipe, and it's just a simple cucumber. And if you do this on a regular basis, you'll see that that is the finished product. Now, you don't have to cut them as big as what I did, but this is an easy recipe. You can make enough of this, put it in a Tupperware container, and then if you're like, I don't want to hollow it out, or I don't like the inside, I don't want to do all of that, you can literally cut the cucumber in half, like so, hollow out all of your inside, like so, like I'm doing just at this very moment. And all this is right here, you can use a knife, but this is a melon ball. And then you can take it and shove it in. Now, I know y'all are like, why you didn't do that to begin with? And then you can cut them like that. Whichever one, I just think both of them are cute. It's easy. You can get cucumbers, I don't know, two, three, four dollar, whatever. You don't have to eat a whole cucumber, but they are going to help. You are going to notice that your appetite starts to diminish and you're not going to want all that sweets. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the cucumber detoxification uh, segment. And then next week, I got more for you guys. Guys, you just don't know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, so... Come back next week. I'm going to show you guys the squat challenge. It's not as hard as you think it is. And if you do this, I'm going to do it with you guys. It's easy to, term, to determine how well you're doing. 
you may lose the inches, but you're going to see the more chisel. And if you got a droopy backside, you're going to see that lift up. Guys, it's going to be awesome. So come back next week. And as I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to be doing the challenge with you. All right, so let's do it together. Love you guys. Mwah. Talk to you later. I'm Sandy White from Simply Fit, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. Bye.